arithmetic mean for continuous frequency distribution problems first problem given below is the frequency distribution of the marks obtained by 100 students compute arithmetic mean given marks and number of students here we are given marks as class intervals and this is a problem under exclusive type class interval let's now proceed with the solution the formula for finding arithmetic mean for continuous frequency distribution is given by x bar is equal to summation f x by n where x denotes mid values of the corresponding class intervals f denotes frequency values and n is equal to summation f proceeding with the calculation part first write the class interval then write the mid value then given frequency value which is number of students and then finally find fx for finding mid value we have to add the lower limit and the upper limit and divide them by 2 here we have 0 plus 10 by 2 which is 10 by 2 will give you 5 similarly 10 plus 20 Dividing by two, we get thirty by two, which is fifteen. Similarly, complete everything. Then write all the frequency values, which is number of students here. Then find f x f into x five into five twenty five, fifteen into ten one fifty, twenty five into twenty five six twenty five, etc. And find the total, which is summation f x equal to three thousand three hundred. Similarly, add all the given frequency values denoted by capital L and write and the total is hundred. Therefore, we get x bar. Are equal to 3,300 by 100, which is 33 as the average. Next problem. Calculate the mean annual profit of the companies from the data below. Given annual profit in lakhs of rupees and number of companies. Here we are given annual profit as class intervals and this is a problem under inclusive type class interval let's now proceed with the solution arithmetic mean x bar is equal to summation fx by n where n is equal to summation f and here also x denotes mid values of the corresponding class intervals and f denotes frequency and n is equal to summation f let's now proceed with the calculation part first write the given class interval then we have to find true class interval as we are given inclusive type class interval we have to convert them into exclusive type class interval by subtracting 0.5 from the lower limit and adding 0.5 to the upper limit here we have 0 minus 0.5 2 4 plus 0.5. Therefore, we get minus 0.5 to 4.5. Similarly, 5 minus 0.5 to 9 plus 0.5, we get 4.5 to 9.5, etc. Then find their mid value, which is minus 0.5 plus 4.5 divided by 2, which gives you 2. Similarly, 4.5 plus 9.5 by 2, which gives you 7, etc. Then write the given frequency value, which is nothing but number of companies. Then get f x f into x two into five is ten seven into ten is seventy etc. And find their total, which is summation f x equal to one two one zero. Similarly, add all the frequency values, which is seventy five. Now get x bar is equal to summation f x one two one zero divided by n, which is seventy five, which gives you sixteen point one three. Therefore, the mean annual profit is rupees sixteen point one three lakhs.